if you have never considered trying to air fry tilapia then you are missing out this is what you should definitely try out hello beautiful youtube family happy new year once more and welcome back to my channel cooking with claudie on today's episode i will be showing you how to make air fried tilapia so juicy delicious yummy whatever you can call it if you're new here a very special welcome to you please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss out on any recent uploads Right here we have our tilapia, beautiful looking scaled gutted, maggi cubes, some lemon slices. Right here we have some paprika, garlic powder. I will be using some coriander seeds. If you have coriander powder, you can use it. In here I have some Italian seasoning and some onion powder. Salt, cumin powder and some cayenne pepper so first off i will start by grounding or mashing my coriander seeds for it to be coarse i'm not going to make it like to be 100 percent powder just have like a coarse texture then i will then combine all the ingredients together then get ready to marinate the fish This recipe um, requires black pepper, but I will be using the freshly cracked black pepper. If you don't have it, you can use powdered black pepper. For the marinade, add some cooking oil, but here I'll be using half sesame oil and half olive oil. You can use whatever oil you have. For the sesame oil, I just like that extra flavor on it, on the tilapia. So first off, I will start by wiping or pat drying my fish. Then secondly, I will score the fish and begin marinating. So guys, what I love doing with my fish at the end, because I have freshly cracked black pepper, I'll just apply it like on top when I'm done marinating the fish. But if you have like powder black pepper, you can add it to the rest of the marinade when mixing the marinade. So to move on, we are, I have my air fryer here. I'm just going to grease the base of it, then transfer the tilapia inside. In my air fryer i have the fish option so i'm just going to take 400 degrees fahrenheit for about 
10 minutes then let it start for my veggies right here i have some bell pepper carrots green beans and cherry tomatoes with some onions i will just start by slicing everything julienne cut So for the veggies, a pinch of um, freshly cracked black pepper or black pepper powder, a pinch of salt to taste, and a little bit of paprika in there. The paprika I'm using here to be specific is a smoked paprika. If you don't have the smoked paprika, you can use whatsoever you want to use. So the first part of our fish has been fully cooked. What we are going to do next is just to flip the sides and let it go in again for another 10 minutes on 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So for the second part of the air frying, I'm going to put my veggies inside before it goes back and cook for the remaining 10 minutes. The reason I don't no want to cook from the beginning when I was air frying the fish is because it's just going to overcook and I still want my veggies to be crunchy. This is just that remaining marinade which I added a little bit of oil in there. So I'm just brushing it on the fish so that it's going to give me a crispy outside but a juicy inside. Let it go back into the air fryer for 400 degrees Fahrenheit again for another 10 minutes. And after that time, our fish has been fully, fully air fried. It is so flavorful right now. So, so flavorful. I'm just going to try the fish and see, look at that, oh my goodness, so, so juicy, so, so moist, juicy, tender, flaky, whatever you can name it. it guys, you can try out this recipe. If you don't have an air fryer, you can do it in the oven or grill in the oven, 400 degrees Fahrenheit, 10 minutes each side. So guys, thank you so much for watching to this point and we'll meet again in my next video. Bye for now and keep trusting my recipes. Stay safe.